Okay. We're gonna create a function that will allow you to have like, you know, let you add like more than two, you know, more than, yeah, like, you know, more than two arguments. So, like, this will be four. And so I'm gonna node create four. So we have four now. So we don't want to do that. So what if you want to put one more argument? Get six. If I can show six, what, let's see what it's gonna say. Is it show four again? Cause like it has not been written. So how do I do it? Do I do x, y, and z? No, that's bad. That does work. I'm gonna get six now. So I got six now, but I don't wanna do that because like, what if I wanna do like twenty of these? I don't want that. So let's create a function called add, and what can we do? We're gonna create a total equal to zero. Um, next. We're gonna create a for loop var i equals to zero. Then i is arguments dot length i plus equals to one. And we're gonna total plus equal arguments. I iterates it and then we're going to return total. So this is how we do it add three that let's console log it and it should show 5, 10, 14. I'll show 14. 14. Let's try that. Yeah, 14. So now we could do 2 and 2, 3. Control S to save, and then we go in node, and it should show 5. So this is working. It's great. So I'll make it big so you guys can see it. Okay, so now I'm going to make it small, delete everything, and we're going to work on one more. We're going to create a recursion. So we're going to create a factorial, like 2 factorial equals to 2, or like 3 factorial equals to 2 times 3 times, times 1. So this will equal to 6. Math. So, we're going to create a function. Call it factorial, and we're gonna give it n argument, and if n equals to one or n equals to zero, we're gonna get we're gonna return one, and we're gonna do some recursion. Now we can do factorial. So console log 
factorial six. Let's see, that should be five. One, two, three. Yeah, it's five. Let's try two. Let's try three. That should be. Oops. That worked. Now, what's the problem? Let's go back a little off. C6. So, you gotta learn how to read the area codes. It's like testing, kind of, but. Clear this guy out so you can see it. Oh, it's not like that. I gotta get bigger. So, yeah. Show me the bigger. If I can see it. Okay. Let's do it again. So, six from this vector only. So, basically, First of all, I define the function, I need a factorial with argument n, so if n equals 1, or n equals 0, then I'm returning a 1, so if I make this like 0, it's going to be 1, 1. So if I make this negative, I'll make some more. Negative, break. Yep, then the set negatives. So this negative that should be oh that's well. Negatives are not accepted. Go back in here. See, negatives are not accepted. Cool. See, I even got a fail safe for that now. So, do I really have to write a test? Because this is technically testing already as it is, because every time I go in here and try something. But it's easier to write your own test so you don't have to like, go in here over and over again. You think about, like, oh, why do I want this? But, like, uh, that's how I code. I'm kind of new still. So, yeah, that ends my tutorial. So, Hope you guys learned something about factorials and um, how to um, create a function that has infinite arguments like Excel. Alright, I'm done. Bye.